Welcome to the third episode of the Tanstack form tutorial. Today's topic is gonna be arrays. You can add an item, you can remove an item, and also you can play around with them and change the order. Are you interested? Let's begin. We're gonna continue from the form we created on the second episode, and now let's add our first array. We wanna keep track of the interests of our users, so let's define this as an array of strings. We can now scroll to the end of our form, and create a new form.fill. We can copy confirm password, get rid of everything, and now the name of our field will obviously be interest. We may want to add mode array, and now here's the first difference compared to the single fields. First of all, we may want to add a label, for example, and here we have to write field.state.value, that is our current array, and then we have to map our items. We do not care of the single item, but everything we're really interested in is the index. And the reason is that from the index, we're gonna create a new form field inside this parent field, which now has name interests and inside square brackets, our index. So here we can render our children. We can call subfield the property so that we have our input that in fact is this specific field. And here we can render our input, which will basically track down the interest on that specific index. We can quickly go on top of our form, add a couple of empty strings. If we now go on the browser, we can see that indeed there are a couple of fields under interest and I can write on them. But is the form actually reading those values? Let's find out. Here I can add a new button in between reset and sign up that I'm gonna call debug. Basically this is just a simple button which prints form.state.values and with that on the console we can validate that in fact our values are inside an array and this is exactly our desired output. And also if I click reset it will obviously empty my fields. And this is simply because we say that in the form definition, our interest was an array of two empty strings. But now the question is, okay, sure, this is good, but I want to add values myself. So let's get rid of this. And we're now gonna go back and add here inside the children of our field of interest, a new button, obviously, and we can add the on click prop which does something that is filled. And since this is an array, I can use push value and add an empty string. With this simple line, I can add a new string in our array. If we go back on the browser, we see that it is now empty. And indeed with debug, I can find that there's an array of zero elements. I can click add and the array increases in size. I can print again, the array has four elements. I finally type something on the elements. The value is indeed inside the array. An extra feature I could add on my input is the autofocus property so that now if I try again every time I click add the focus will be already on the new added input this is quite handy but now what happens if I want to remove an item from the array we just saw that we can do fill.push value so if we add a new button there might be a similar handler that is fill.remove value and this time we have to pass in the index and if we save and we go back on the browser you can see that this big red button appeared and if you click X on the first element, this element will disappear. And so goes with the second and the third. This is in fact working with the element that is at the given index and it works fine. But this was a simple array of strings. Let's get a level higher and add on our form a new array. But this time it will be an array of objects with a string and a number. To make it fast, we're gonna copy again our interest array as the features will be pretty much the same to begin with. Interest is gonna become skills. And while I refactor, you can already notice that now name is no longer valid because there isn't a field that is skills at a given index. Here, I might want to specify that this field is the skill language and now it works but there's also an error here because i can no longer push a string but now the value is an object and with that done i can go back on the browser and now i can see that if i click add it will add again a new skill i can write yes and now if i click on debug i can find that skills is an array of an element and here i'm basically able to change the value of a skill dot language. So how can I do the rating? Well, similarly to the input we created for the language, I can duplicate our form.field, I can change language with rating, and here the form already spots an error because the value this time is no longer a string, but it has to be a number. And TaskTag form tells me right away. 
So I can change value as number and this time the error goes away. I might also want to replace number here to make sure the fill is specifically designed for numbers and also remove auto focus as I want the focus to only be on the text field. I can go back on the browser, add a new skill and I can indeed write some text. I can write a number and if I hit debug, what I'm gonna expect is to have an element with language DS and rating 8. So once again, this is working just fine. It's now time for the coolest feature that is in fact getting an element and moving it in the order of our array. Let's do that on the interest array and we can begin by adding here a select which has as items a simple array of the number of the fields. But the interesting thing here is that our select will have as value the index of our array. This is just to make it a string and the onChange handler We'll do something similarly to push and remove, that is move value. With that, I can take the current index of my element and move it to the new index, that is the one that I specified in the select. Let's see if it works. Back on my form, I can add one, two, three, and four items. Notice how handy is the autofocus prop to have the focus on the latest element. And now if I use the select and I move these as the first element, the number four is now here and I can do that again with whatever element I want and it will push my element right in the index that I specified. Now having it zero base might seem confusing at first so let me add a plus one here so that now it starts from one and ends with four. So I can move the number four back to the last place. As a side note along with move value we already saw push value and remove value but you can also insert or swap values at given indexes. You can also add validation to the single element or to the length or other properties of the entire array field. And this was basically all about arrays for today. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos, hit the like button, and that's all. See you in the next episode. Bye!